What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. So, rumor has it that Floyd Mayweather did not crack a million with his latest pay per view against Marcos Maidana in a pretty stacked card. You had Amir Khan, Adrian Broner also on that card, and his fighter Jay Leon Love. They said he's in the neighborhood of 800 to 900, maybe 950,000, clearly not hitting a million. Um, the reason I say it's a rumor is because official numbers haven't come out. However, if it did crack over a million, I think they probably would have announced it. Usually when there's a delay in the announcement of the pay-per-view buys, it usually spells it didn't um, hit their forecasted or targeted number of people. Because otherwise, you would be, when you get that, that insight, the forecast, you'd be blabbing like, oh, yes, we did over, you know what I mean? You'd be bragging about it. But if it's considered a flop or something, of course, you're not going to go to out of your way to announce what it is. So that usually spells trouble. Um, don't know the exact number, but that's what they're saying. My opinion on this, good, great, hooray. I don't care. A lot of you guys have this misconception that I give a fuck. There's not a lot that I care about. Um, as far as Floyd not hitting his targeted number, doing over a million buys, it doesn't affect me in the least. My bank account stays the same. Um, I don't care. I don't care what type of numbers people are doing because it doesn't affect me personally. However, if someone wants to get on my channel and debate, this is where we run into problems. Like if you're going to say Pacquiao's a bigger star or he's producing the same type of numbers as Mayweather, then of course I'm going to say you have to show and prove that to me. But I don't care. I really don't care that he didn't hit um, his number. In fact, I think it's a great thing. It's a great thing for the simple fact of now maybe we can see Pacquiao versus Mayweather. We can actually see this fight. And Floyd's fight with Robert Guerrero, his first fight in his Showtime deal, didn't do as projected. It didn't do as good as they wanted it to for Floyd, Floyd's first fight with Showtime. The very next fight, we got a good fight against Canelo, something that a lot of people were picking Canelo to win. A lot of people were picking Mayweather to win. It was a good fight. It was um, it was some fresh young blood, an undefeated fighter, and it also did astronomical numbers and record-breaking numbers. So I think it's a good thing because we know one thing about Mayweather he likes his money so if his money is being affected maybe that'll force him into making a more um, fan friendly fight or, or whatever selecting a different type of an opponent now I don't take anyone lightly um, I think this is my opinion I really think what happened with Marcos Maidana a lot of people thought oh he's flat footed Mayweather pretty much made easy work of Canelo and a lot of people were like oh Canelo's a better boxer he's bigger than Maidana, so Maidana, Maidana stands no chance. However, it turned out to be a good, close, competitive fight. So I think a lot of people um, possibly went to friends' house, went to bars, didn't order it, streamed it, or whatever, thinking it was going to be a walk in the park for Floyd, and then it actually happened to be a pretty good action fight. A lot of people liked it, talking about it after the fight, and both fighters showed a lot of heart and battle some adversity and different things like that so it was actually a really good fight and i'm guilty of this too when they had marquez versus pacquiao four i was like man i thought marquez had got the wrong side of some decisions and past fights i'm like i'm not buying this um nobody wanted to go in and split it with me so i'm like fuck that i'm gonna stream it i'm being real i streamed it and then it turned out to be one of the best fights in their whole saga of fights and i was like fuck this was dope and i was waiting for it to buffer at certain points but luckily I, I got to see all the action live so it just it goes with the territory um with streaming but i think that's what happened i think a lot of people thought it was going to be a, a one-sided fight for mayweather and he's going to easily beat maidana and it actually turned out to be to be a good really good fight and i enjoyed it so they didn't buy it either way i think this is beneficial for the sport of boxing because hopefully this pushes mayweather to um make that Pacquiao fight. I really want to see the Pacquiao fight. Finally, just put it to bed. I'm sick of talking. At this point, everything's speculation. I could say Freddie Rhodes, Manny Pacquiao, Floyd did this, Roger did this. It doesn't matter. Just fucking fight. Point blank. Um, anything's speculation. Everything's just opinion because I thought a lot of fights were going to go differently. If you watch my prediction on the Timothy Bradley versus Ruslan Provotnikov fight, I thought that was going to be a pretty one-sided fight. I thought Bradley would box off Ruslan's ears which he did in the middle rounds. However, that was a war. And Ruslan was able to bring Timothy Bradley down to his level, basically, a fight that made sense for him. 
and bring him in the trenches. So it was a good fight. Same thing with Edisalani Laura versus Angulo. I was like, Laura's going to just box him to death. Um, and he did do good boxing. However, it was not as easy as I thought it was going to be. So at this point, everything's speculation. And I just want to see the fight. Even if you don't make that fight, there's other good, young, strong champions. Sean Porters, uh, Kell Brook. There's Keith Thurman. And I'm not saying Kell Brook is just shown and proved obviously he's 30 plus years old or whatever and he hasn't really fought nobody but shit give him a chance at least it'll be something new half lloyd traveled to the uk i don't care i just want to see good competitive fights and i still think mayweather's in a better position his pay-per-view with maidana it almost doubled the pacquiao bradley two card and he has more options i think on the golden boy side plus the way he fought it's going to be kind of like Castillo versus Castillo too. Some people are like, oh, Maidana won. And it was an action fight. And they're going to tune in. And I think it'll push over a million. Even if he rematches Maidana in September, I think it'll push over a million. Just because the first one was a tough fight. And the way he fought, a lot of people are going to tune in. Like, oh, Maidana got the best. If he wears his gloves, he's going to knock him out. So people are going to want to see that for that that excitement. Um, to see what Mayweather does. Does he decide to box more? Does he do the toe-to-toe -to -toe more? Um, does Maidana get his gloves? And I think Maidana gained a lot of fans just for making it a dog fight and an interesting fight when a lot of people counted him out. So I think if even if he rematches, I think Floyd still has a little bit more um, room to make his next fight hit over a million just because of the Maidana fight. Plus, he has a lot of action over there on the Golden Boy side with Sean Porter, who's not a Golden Boy fighter, but he does business with him. His last fight was a Golden Boy fight. Um, and Al Heyman is Sean Porter's advisor, et cetera, et cetera. So hopefully this pushes the envelope. Everyone's like, all oh, boxing is a business. It is a business, but at some point you have to give back to the fans because the fans are the ones keeping this business afloat. So hopefully this makes Mayweather's next fight exciting and, and I'm looking forward to it. So this is not a bad thing. I think it's a great thing that he didn't do as good as expected because if you know anything about business, people want a return on their investment if a record label has a rapper and they give them a budget and they give them like a signing bonus or whatever they're going to want their money back or you could take it to the dope game you could take it to a drug dealer if he fronts you some bricks like you get it like a kilo of dope and he says hey sell this i want my percentage give me my cut then you keep the rest of the profit that's all fine and dandy but that drug dealer will want his cut so you have to make sure you're you're responsible with your money and there's no difference that business um mantra is the same for any business showtime wants their money they're going to want their money if they're paying him 32 mil guaranteed no matter what win lose or draw and his his events aren't doing the same numbers they were doing with hbo then they're going to have a problem with that because they're going to be in the hole so this could shake things up and hopefully make a very exciting fight and I'm all for it hopefully they make the Pacquiao fight both fighters it looks like their recent um, outings minus the Canelo fight haven't done some of the numbers that they're used to doing in the past so maybe that's a sign maybe it's a sign you two need to fight it's the biggest fight in boxing still after all these years Pacquiao uh, has a lot of fans still Mayweather still has fans and enemies that want to see him lose whatever it's still a business move that makes a lot of sense and they'll help boost each other's numbers because we've talked about it for years and years and um, as far as some people are like shocked that oh it didn't touch a million or it might not touch a million the undercard it had stars on it but they weren't in great matches to me um, the Mir Khan and Luis Colazo that was I take that back that was a great match I was really looking forward to that but um, Luis Colazo, I guess, is not a powerhouse. So it wasn't the same as Lucas versus Danny Garcia, if that makes sense. Um, if Khan fought Broner, then it would have definitely did over a mil. But given the fact that Broner and Khan were stars, are stars, they had to front the bill. You know what I mean? Like they had to foot the bill, to, so to speak, because it was their name that was selling that particular fight, if that makes any sense to you. So... I'm anxious to see who Mayweather decides for September. Like I said, I like when people affect his money because it just usually equates to us getting a really good fight. And the Pacquiao fight is long overdue. Again, they'll, they'll help each other's numbers by finally fucking fighting. And we can just put everything to rest 
on who's the better out of those two from that generation. Um, if not, very least, hopefully Mayweather gets in and fights one of these uh, young dogs like a Sean Porter or Keith Thurman. Some of y'all want to see the Maidana fight. Again, I, I, I'll watch it. I have no problem with Maidana. I, I want to watch Maidana's next fight. So if it's Floyd, so be it. But I don't want to waste Floyd's last couple of fights on Maidana rematch because I know Floyd's educated and I honestly think he could fight and he could have made the fight easier. Some people think differently. Some people are going to be like, oh, Maidana forced that. But honestly, I think um, Mayweather fought that way. You know what I'm saying? And he said going into the fight he was going to fight that way. But just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video's Ego. Signing off. Mm -hmm.